Welcome back to Elsinore. Last episode, we were killed by a hooded figure on, I think it was day two. So, we started the loop again. And my first goal, personally, is going to be trying to find a way to make sure that we don't die very shortly. I want to have the full four days to try to do stuff instead of dying on the second day. I'd also like to prevent Polonius from being murdered by Hamlet. Um, but let's focus on the first one first. I'm thinking talking with Bernardo. Perhaps Bernardo can help me with the spy in Elsinore Castle, the hooded figure that murdered me. I don't remember why I thought that Bernardo could help me, but that memory stuck in my head, so let's follow it up. They're in the guardhouse. Oh, and we were just told how to fast forward time if we need to. Yes, I can mention the spy in Elsinore. I've heard the news about a spy in Elsinore. What do you know? Uh, You've heard of that already. Did Voltamond tell you? All is well. Despite how worrying it may sound, I feel certain the danger to you is very little, my lady. <laughs> I don't care about that. I want information. What can you tell me? It is an ongoing investigation. At the moment, it is up to myself and my men to get to the bottom of it. I've been asking all with suspicious information to report it to me. That is, if you think someone knows something about all this. Tell them I've requested a meeting with them. Farewell. I'll interrogate them further. Politely, of course. Acquired the information Bernardo has summoned you. I don't know of anybody who has information. Hmm... Hamlet is acting very strangely. Do you know Listen. the cause? Uh. Is this dialogue that we've heard before? Have I asked this of Bernardo before? No. I was afraid of this. Your nothing, father. it's nothing. Um, where's your father? Have you told him about this? I can have a man assigned to your hall in case the prince should bother you further. Ah, right. They were worried this would happen because they know all about the ghost. So they're worried what Hamlet would do. It's quite all right. He's not a danger to me. Not yet, anyway. My lady. Before you depart, have you been to the gallery? There's a certain tome there, filled with the lives and deaths of royal men and women. The entry on King Hamlet may be of particular interest to you if you're concerned about the prince's well-being. Bernardo? Why the secrecy? Would that I could say, my lady, but I have promised my silence. I think they're just talking about the death report, which we've already read. Oh, I can actually, separate from the spy in Elsinore, I can just straight up mention, I'm in danger. Someone is trying to threaten my life. What? Who? I don't know, but they are. How do you know? I, I don't have proof, but I... I... Let's say I had an unnerving experience, which made me doubt my safety. Uh, I can add more patrols to the Night's Watch, if you're worried. But Ophelia, you're a noble woman of the court, relatively unthreatening. Who would want you dead? Please. Haven't we known each other long enough for you to believe me? If you, and this is in bold, sense someone acting strangely, ask them to meet with me. I'll speak with them further and identify whether or not they're a danger to you. It need not take the form of some solemn meeting. I'll keep it to a lightweight chat of sorts. My thanks. That's all I wanted. Bernardo now believes that Ophelia believes that Ophelia is in danger. Oh, where are you off to? Is it Ben? What do I want to do now? What could I do to prevent Polonius' death? Hmm. 
I remember Irma mentioned that they think King Hamlet, or not King Hamlet, but, um, you know, the, the small Hamlet, <laughs> young Hamlet, should be punished. And I was thinking that if they were punished, that may prevent Polonius's death. Perhaps they'd be too preoccupied with whatever the punishment would be. So perhaps I should speak to King Claudius about that. Let's see what's going on in the courtyard, though. What, is this an event that I've been to? Oh, courtyard is over. Now we're just going to the Great Hall. Okay, yeah, this we've already heard before. Fortinbras. All right, we're through that whole meeting, so now I can actually speak with King Claudius. Hmm, we can talk about a great many things, but let's talk about Hamlet must be disciplined. My king. Irma thinks that Hamlet needs a good, oh, a good beating to set him straight. That's the kind of punishment we're talking about. Well, now I wish I didn't say that. I'm at a loss for what to do with the boy, truly. I had to show him a thing or two about how my father, his grandfather, tolerated a poor mood. No, you shouldn't. It involved the butt of a blade or the flat of his hand more often than not. Well... <laughs> Didn't want to do that. I don't know what I imagined the discipline to be, but it wasn't that. I feel he learns about a future event in which King Claudius and Queen and the Queen confront Hamlet. That would be interesting to attend. That's later at night, around eight p.m. or so. About seven thirty. For now, there's no other events here, except for one for the next day. What shall I do now, then? There's an event at the docks. Horatio's in the Royal Gallery. They're gonna meet Hamlet, right? We've already been to that event before. I would like to eavesdrop on the ladies. Although it doesn't show an event happening there. But nonetheless, let's go over there and just see if anything happens. Yeah, nothing happened. <laughs> oh, the event's already over at the docks. Man, events... Events just end so fast. I kind of want to speak with Lady Brit, because I've never spoken with him before. Alright, what the heck, let's go there. My lady. Oh, it's very pretty out here. Lady Ophelia. Oh, there's a dog there. Just scroll off screen. And a cat. So terribly good to see you once again. Especially after what transpired last time. I... Uh... You... Do you... Do I remember you? Thank goodness I'm not going insane. Time is repeating somehow. Everything's so strange. First that horrible dream, and now this. Your father's death, and then your own. Surely the vision you had showed you such a fate. How do you know these things? Did you cause them to happen? Are, are you some sort of sorcerer? <laughs> no, I didn't. I mean you no harm, Lady Ophelia. I merely aimed to offer my assistance in your journey just as I did for His Majesty King Hamlet once. Is my vision a portent of the future? Will my father's murder continue to come to pass? And someone's coming to kill me too, aren't they? Who can save us? Who can protect us? Who indeed, Lady Ophelia? Unfortunately, this is a road which must be traveled alone, and it is a lonely one indeed. I look forward to watching you discover the solutions for yourself. Do you also look forward to me dying dozens of times? 
but I aim to not leave you entirely defenseless. I'll be here to provide assistance if you have further need of me. Philia learns more about the Playmaster. Ah, Lady Brit's back here now. Cleocatra! That's a great name. Hello, little one. What's the dog's name? Max. He looks awfully content. I wonder which flower bed he's gone and dug up. What should we talk about? Everything? <laughs> All right, so I guess I can summon anybody I think might be suspicious. I mean, Quince is... Quince is suspicious, but I don't think they're the person who killed me. Oh, the performance. They will be performing one of his odd one-man plays with Hamlet's help. Right, that hasn't happened yet? Yeah, that hasn't happened yet. Why is time repeating? Why? Why do you think time is repeating? Perhaps there's something I haven't done. Perhaps I'm being punished by... by God or something. They say spirits roam the earth until they find their final purpose. No. What rubbish. No, that's not it at all. This world is without purpose, divine or otherwise. There is only the meaning you make for yourself. After all, that person is still coming to kill you, aren't they? If other corpses could have another chance at life, they'd spend less time on philosophy than you are, I'm certain. Hmm. Why don't you find a way to prevent your death? Sounds great. I'm trying. I don't know if I really need to talk to him about anything more, do I? I am supposed to ask people about mysterious Queen Astrid. Do you know much about Queen Astrid? <laughs> <laughs> Queen Astrid and Lady Simona, two peas in a pod. Though to be quite honest, Lady is a mite of a stretch. They were both little bosom pals with your mother, if memory serves. How is your mother doing? Uh, She's dead. My lady. Oh dear, terribly sorry. I suppose that's what happens when you pop out for a bit and come back. In two decades. Okay, I don't think we need to ask anything more. There's the event in the Royal Gallery. I have no interest. There's the event in the kitchen. That's where they talk about disciplining Hamlet, I think? I think? Bernardo's on the landing up there. Or not Bernardo, Marcellus. <sighs> Who could be acting suspicious? It's gotta be somebody that I can send to speak with Bernardo, which means it must be one of the characters on the map, right? Because I can't speak with the other random NBCs that have their names grayed out, because they're they're kind of just part of the castle's workings, but they're not important characters. So it's got to be one of these people. Who the heck would it be? I don't know. Lady Brit? I think they're the only one I haven't spoken with. Go to Lady Brit. Yeah. Places always look really far away, but the map's actually not very big. Hey. Hmm. What do you know of King Hamlet's mother, Queen Astrid? Brit. Astrid? That's awfully specific. Who wants to know? Just me. Sheer curiosity. My grandmother knew her well. She attended court when Astrid was growing up. They were about the same age. And you've heard of her? 
<laughs> of course. Unlike some women here, my pedigree runs deep. She didn't really die of childbirth, you know. That's just the nice story they tell. What's the truth, then? <laughs> I've simply got to laugh, Feely. Oh, they call us Feely for Ophelia? They must be our friend, then, right? I should read their bio. Here you are asking me for answers when your dear old father's the biggest Astrid expert of us all. Ah, okay. Um, yeah, let's read the character bio of Brit. Brit is Gertrude's lady-in-waiting. She can be terribly cruel. We've never gotten along since she came to Elsinore three years ago. She's the daughter of one of the most powerful noble families in Denmark, as with most of the people here at Elsinore. Hmm, it's weird that they would call me Feely, then, as if we're close when we're absolutely not close. Hmm. Ah, this is when uh, Hamlet meets the two ladies, realizes that they've come here just to meet Hamlet, and then realizes that they were sent here by the king. I guess I should go speak with my father about Astrid. What do you know about Queen Astrid? Father. <sighs> ah, now that's a name I'd sworn not to speak again. Was there some ill omen about her death? Your mother was wonderfully faithful to Queen Astrid during her service. She served her as a handmaiden, in the same way I advised King Alexander. I miss her. Thinking of your mother is painful. I'm going to visit her grave soon. Won't you come with me? Perhaps then I could find the courage to talk about what happened. I'm sure your mother would be smiling in heaven to think of you visiting. Of course. Future event? When exactly is that going to happen? Mm, it's going to be going on for quite a while, thankfully, so I can still attend. <laughs> attend my invitation to King Claudius and the Queen confronting Hamlet. Yeah, it goes a little bit past midnight, actually. Right, so I can just leave that alone for now. I'm in danger. I'm worried about what Polonius might do if I tell them this. Eh, let's try it. Father. What? What makes you say that, dearest? I... It's a... Uh, it's... I have a sense. I've experienced it before. I know how insane it sounds, but it's true. I promise. Dearest, have you been sleeping well? Ah, they're just going to be dismissive. No, I haven't, but that's not the reason for this, Father. Hamlet? And Hamlet, has he been giving you trouble? Listen. A little more than usual. Father, listen, I'm telling the truth. Love, you're worrying me. If your brother were here, he'd only indulge you in this. Luckily for us both, he isn't. Laertes. Ah. He's always taken care of me when I've been in trouble before. Not to mention, with the king frightened of a potential spy in his court, a rumor like this could be quite dangerous. Mm, Polonius now believes that Ophelia is losing her mind. <laughs> Great. Ophelia learns about a future event in which Laertes prepares to depart for Paris. Where is that on the t timeline? Wait, where is that? A future event? Well, it says if it can happen on my, on this timeline, it will show up here. I guess it can't happen on this one. <laughs> I thought Laertes already left. So 
So what got updated about these exactly? Like Queen Astrid's memory. If I talk to father about Queen Astrid, he acts evasive. Evidently, the queen was quite close to my mother, and he finds it painful to discuss her. He mentioned that he visits her grave Thursday night, though. Yeah, nothing more to do there. To catch a spy. Someone has suggested my brother could help, but Laertes leaves for Paris early Thursday morning. I wonder if I could convince him to stay. Early Thursday morning. What day is it? Ah. Right. It is Thursday, so... Yeah, I believe they've already left. So this is something I would have to do on the next loop through. Shit. I might have to die again then. Um, yeah, so these leads are a good way to find, well, um, leads. Get to know the people close to Claudius, especially Queen Gertrude, so perhaps I should speak with Queen Gertrude. Mm, playmaster. Um, visit the grave with Polonius to learn more about Queen Astrid. Okay. Laertes I can't do anything about right now. Hmm. I'm back at the beginning again in a time where father is alive. I've never been so happy to have him berate me. Maybe I have a chance to change his fate. I know that he was killed in Gertrude's rooms, and that Hamlet committed the deed. Seems as good a place to start as any. Yes. Shall I go to Gertrude's chambers? What could I do there? I don't know, but let's go. Wait, is this a new event? No, 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 that's the... Yeah, that's the event where Hamlet first meets the ladies. That's still going on. Lady Brits in Gertrude's chamber. Makes sense. They're the lady-in-waiting. Huh. Locked. I know father will be killed here. If I can get inside somehow... I can be there when it happens. Acquire the information. The Queen's Chambers are locked. Could I do... Like, what could I do to get in there? I'm not going to be picking any locks. That isn't the sort of game this is. The door to Gertrude's Chambers is locked, but I won't let that stop me. There has to be a way to get inside. Someone close to her must know, surely. So... Speak to anybody close to her. Probably not the king. I imagine that would be a bad idea. Is Claudius' place unlocked? No, of course not. Only two people have ever been allowed inside, as far as I know. The queen, when the two of them are together. And Bernardo, who comes to deliver private news to him from time to time. Not even my father's permitted entry unless the circumstances are dire. Well, I can't speak with Lady Brit right now. I could just wait out here for them to come out. Who knows how long that would take. Um, Irma is also close to Lady Gertrude. Or Queen Gertrude. Yeah. Let's go speak with Irma. I need access to the Queen's personal chambers. Can you help me? Just an aside here. Why would Irma help me with this? Like, this is a weird request. Hmm. I have a key. What need do you have of it? I'd just like to take a quick look around. There's something I'm looking for. That's not very convincing. Rummaging around in my lady's chambers. <laughs> Guts, but no tact. Everyone knows you're too curious for your own good, my lady. Isn't there something I could do for you in return? A favor of sorts? Hmm. A woman who strikes deals. Far too few of those around. I'll bite. I've been known to gamble now and then, but the cowards who play with me are too delicate to play my favorite trick-taker. 
rough and honors. Instead, they stick to only the games they think they can win. Round up my card, partners. Persuade them, and you'll have yourself an exchange. Not to mention, if the guard captain sees me rousing up his men for immoral behavior, he'll be furious. The pious lout. That'd be Horatio Marcellus and the good lady Brit, of course. Mm. If you tell them all I want to strike up a game, come back here. Only then I shall unlock the room for you. Okay. Lady Brit, Marcellus, and Bernardo, was it? No. Lady Brit, Horatio, Horatio, and Marcellus. Horatio and Marcellus? Horatio... Where's Horatio? Oh, are they not here? Or am I just missing them? No, it seems they're not here. Huh. Well, Marcellus then. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, that's Horatio. But they don't show up in the... Oh, I guess somehow they're like directly beneath me, so their icon's covered up. Oh, what's this? Oh, no. We're fine. I thought a cutscene was starting. Irma has asked me to invite you to a game of Rough and Honors. Aha! Music to my ears. We've been playing that awful Italian one, Runfa. I introduced it to the men. They won't stop clinging to it. I've told them it's a dreadful game. Well, I suppose I have to gather every penny I own so I can lose it all to her. Hmm. Wait. I haven't got a cent. That's right. You don't have any money? <laughs> When one is an expert in the art of acquiring free meals, one wants for very little in this world, my dear girl. Okay, but I don't need to, like, give you money or anything, right? I don't think. Let's go to Marcellus. Actually, wait, what's going on here? A meeting between Quince and Hamlet. Oh, that would be discussing the play, probably. I'll just leave him to it. Let's go speak with Marcellus about the cards. Irma has requested your presence at a card game. Rough and honors, I believe. <laughs> Time for a rematch. If she breaks out the trick deck again, I'll wring her neck, though. Now, Lady Brit. Come out of Gertrude's chambers, damn you. I mean, I guess in the meantime, I might as well go to the grounds and check out that event if it's still going on by the time I get there. Ah, I just missed it. Hey, Cleocatra. This goes to the forest path. I kind of want to just explore, but like, I'm going to be, I'm going to end up going there anyway to get to the graveyard. So let's not waste time. Irma and the king are speaking. I wonder what about. Let's go there. Ooh, Lady Brit. Oh no, not that. Not the late the Queen's chambers are locked. <laughs> Last time I played that one with that witch, she destroyed me so badly I was out of drinking coin for three months. Uh, so is that a no? Are you kidding? Of course I'll play. Now it's my turn to bring her to her knees. 
That's everyone, I think. I'll have to let Yerman know when she's next available. Right. Yerma's in here. And... Oh, they're not busy. Good, good. Um, what exactly do I mention? Like the want to play cards thing? This card game you mentioned, it's unpopular with the others? Is, it, is that going to do it? Yeah. Correct. For, I, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but I know that's German. So is Yerba German? Once they come to see it as I do, though, I'm certain they'll throw aside Runfa and Triumpha and see the light. That old man Marcellus is asking for another defeat. And my fingers itch for a gamble if I go without too long. Ah, now they're busy. Yeah, that didn't give me the key. So, what's going on? Oh, 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 oh. I think we've gone forwards enough that we're at the confrontation with Hamlet. My lady, if he treats you cruelly tonight, he won't. But if he does, will you not see to it that he is disciplined? He needs a mother, Irma, not a militant leader. Very well. I shall have the servants set the table. Damn, what a feast. I'm just standing here very awkwardly. <laughs> Whoops, I didn't mean to click on the fireplace. Irma. This is wonderful, as always, my dear. Of course. Huh. Many thanks, Irma. You've made my wife a happier and plumper woman during these hard times. Hamlet. Aren't you hungry? Hmm. My appetite fails me. Perhaps it's just a stench on the wind blowing in from the graveyard. Oh, Hamlet. Idiot. Boy. <laughs> Sorry, just saying boy it just made me think of God of War. Boy. Enough. Sit up straight. We'll get your mother when you speak to her. Hmm. Or what? Uh. Or I'll have to teach you discipline at the tip of my blade. Boy, you're gonna kill your stepson? <laughs> you ought to have sent me away when you had the chance. Not until this madness you express has subsided. Then we will all be waiting a while for my behavior to become pleasant, I expect. Alright, great dinner. <laughs> I should update Irma on the card game. I'm sure she'll be pleased. Oh. You say they'll be there for the game. That's what they told me. <laughs> Most excellent. Time to break out the old liar's deck. Yerma never plays a fair game of cards. Wait. What about the key to Gertrude's room? Yes. It's true. A deal is a deal. The truth be told, I never keep that old thing on me. I stashed in the shrubberies by Gertrude's room. Ah, oh, that is very useful. Because I think what that means is that in future loops, I'm not going to have to do this whole thing again, right? I don't need to set up the card game. I can just go to the shrubberies, probably, and just grab the key right there. You can go fetch it yourself. I have cards to play. Um, do I have time? Oh, Quince and the ladies are speaking. Um. Do I have time on the timeline before the graveyard? Yeah, 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 I got a good four hours or so. Time goes pretty fast, but not that fast. 